Michelle, are you talking to yourself? Yeah, I'm filming. Oh, okay. Welcome back to Nails by Mish. In this video, we're going to be making some clean girl ghosty nails. And let's get into it. Here's what my nails look like right now. They're about three weeks grown out and these are my natural nails. And we're gonna chop them off today. So first, we filed and shaped the nails into the shape that we wanted, and then I did my cuticle work, which was using my cuticle softener, applying that to all of the nails, pushing back the cuticles, and trimming away any dead skin. Next, we went in and filed the surface of the nail and prepped the natural nail, anything that was showing. I did file down to some of the natural nail, and today I'm going to be using the color Teddy from the gel bottle and I'm just going to bring over my lamp here just to prop up and so what I did is after I prepped the nails I wiped them off with alcohol and you can see like this one's still drying but they're all relatively dry now when you're using the gel bottle builder in a bottle colored um, builder gels you don't need a base coat it's like base coat primer everything built into one we'll start with the thumb here so normally what you would do is apply a base coat cure it apply a thicker layer cure that in this case because this nail is so short we can do it all at once like look how small that is like just this one layer is not enough for structure you need just a little bit more to have some sort of good structure in there to build the nail up a bit because once this nail starts growing it um, it will be susceptible to breakage if there's no apex here and so as you can see I've just I'm just kind of like smushing in some product and moving it from side to side I'm I'm keeping the product mostly in the middle and and like swooping it from side to side as you can see, I'm not going all the way to the side, but you can kind of bring your brush down. Because I've already put product there, it will flow there. And now since we don't want too much, touch up the side here. We don't really need much on the end either because the tip of the nail doesn't need to be super thick. And then just like every other time, we're gonna flip it upside down, see if there are any bumps. And like from what I could see, there sort of is one between the tip of the nail and it's actually kind of figuring itself out right now but let's just drag see i'm kind of going back and forth here with literally i'm not even touching the nail because i'm just touching the product and pulling it backwards and forwards a little bit just to see if i can get that bump out and like let's look here bump is almost out look you can see super thin it looks like Turn to the side, just a small little apex. Turn to the front. I'm gonna flip it back upside down again because I'm still talking. So I'm gonna push the camera back. And then I am gonna cure it for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. This now that it's cured and from the side, it's the smallest little apex. It's perfectly smooth. If you look at it from this angle, all thumbs are weird, hey? So if you look at the knuckle, you look at the nail, it's slanted. Look at your thumb, it does it too. And as you can see, that is, if you're looking from here to here, it's very thin on, on the sides and you can see the bulk of the product is in the middle. Same with here. It's thin on the end, thin on the tip of the nail and the bulk of the product is in the middle. That's perfection. Let's just do it one more time on camera and because they're, the nails are small and like you should be customizing how much gel is on your brush per nail because they're all different sizes. 
like my thumb, much more would be needed for instead like my pointer finger, much less will be needed. Also, I am not sponsored by the gel bottle, but if you're listening, hey, I love your products. We're gonna start with that wedding layer, trying to get as close to that cuticle as possible. I'm just going to paint that nice thin coat. And with gel, just remember wherever you put it, that is where it's going to go. If you put it on the cuticle, it's going to go on the cuticle. Right now I'm just trying to pick up just a little bit. So like this is what I have on my brush right now. It's not a lot. It might be too much, but let's let's see if not I can wipe it off. So sometimes better have too much than not enough because you can wipe it off. So now see I'm just dropping it down and I'm gonna push it, push the product towards the cuticle and pull back. Push it. I'm not really pulling back, I'm just kind of like going up. Push forward, back and up. And like I said before, you're gonna want to keep all the product towards the middle. So the bulk of it is gonna stay here and anything that goes towards the sides, like very, very little, okay? And I'm just gonna, because I'm turning my finger, I've gotta be mindful of, of the product spreading towards the other side if I'm turning it to like kind of give you guys some angles. I actually don't think I have enough, so I need just like a little tiny bit more. I'm just gonna like drop that on there and then pull the rest of the product off my brush and then play around with this. So here we go. So you can see from the side that bump and then that bump, even that might be a little too much. Let it settle. As you can see from the side, it's, it's kind of bumpy. So now we're gonna flip the nail upside down again and I'm just gonna kinda, I bring it forward and then I bring it back. And then it just fills in that bump and I'm gonna try and make it meet the rest of the apex there. And so it will settle and look And I'm going to cure that and then I'll be right back to show you it all solid. We have my Pointer finger all cured, just like in the last one. Just, you can see on the side walls, it, all of the, the sides are really thin, and in the middle is where the bulk of the product sits. Same when you look at it from the side, it looks like the nail is growing out, just like that. And then right at the tip of the nail, it's very thin. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera and then we're gonna get into the nail art. All right. And I've got the best ever nail queen intense white. Nail queen white. And we're gonna be using her liner brushes. This is the 10 millimeter one. Honestly, I've used this one to death. It's your life. This is what I do to wake up the brush. This is alcohol, 70%. It's a detailer, but we're just gonna use the bottom side of it. So there ends up being like more than enough product in that little dot there. So that's where I'm pulling from for product. I'm not really like dipping in and adding more. This last part is so cute. Painting the little eyes. Now I have the other ever so trusty Nail Queen Black. I have my little baby dotting tool. I'm just gonna have like a ball. 
like ooh. I wanted it to be like super dainty and small. Hope you enjoyed today's video with our little ghost nails and if you enjoyed today's video please consider subscribing i make new content every week and if you like this video please like it i hope you have a wonderful week a wonderful weekend whatever you're watching this and i'll see you again soon bye